What's going on people? Back with a bang. This is the Money Management. Back here to bring you guys another recap of today's trading day. So it was a pretty interesting day and I'm just going to get into it by starting off with, we're going to start off looking at SPY because it was one of those kind of choppy, interesting trading days. Let's see. So of course I'm using Chatterquant again which you guys can also do. Let's move me out of the way here. It kind of didn't really give us a clear direction today. It was just kind of going up, down. It didn't really show us what it was doing. It overall it was down, but check it. So it was just kind of going up and down. And then um, it really dropped to about 457. But check this actually. This is where the confusing part comes in. This is where the confusing part comes in because it was a red day and a lot of stocks sold off, but after hours it started to rise again. So it's like, I'm guessing tomorrow, if it can hold this, we could see a green day and then spy calls will be pretty much the play, looking to go to levels around 460 again, maybe even up to, you know, 461 if we're lucky tomorrow. But yeah, it was one of those days where it just kind of gave us weird vibes look sort of then start to rise again you're thinking okay it's coming back after power spoke then nope drop off and then ended up the day starting to rise so that was kind of weird let's take a look at our good friend chewy because that did something similar but also a little bit different so it kind of sold off then started to rise then the last half an hour was really power hour for chewy they just rallied to around 68 dollars from $66 so yeah Chewy was one of those stocks which didn't look like it had no hope but then just out of nowhere started rallying. Some tr stocks we traded in Discord today well Alibaba and HD. Let's first go for Alibaba because I don't know what's going on with this stock but it's selling off. It's broke a strong level of support around 130 and now it's dropping well I think it's going to drop to around 110 $107. We'll find out this chart actually loads. Otherwise I'll go back to Chatterquant. But yeah, we traded Alibaba put today. You know what? We're gonna go there. Let's have a look at Alibaba. How the chart did today. Because there was a time around two months ago when I said on YouTube Alibaba might drop to around $130 of you know the way it was trending and honestly it's managed to do that now but i think look if we zoom out you can see the levels i'm talking about you can see the levels i'm talking about look over the past year or might even be longer okay yep that 130 level if we drop below that expect us to go to around i'd say one but let me zoom out a little bit more. I'd expect us to go to around 110, yeah, 110 right here. Let me just draw that line for you guys. So around here, right there. And um, yeah, that's why I'm looking at puts. So maybe my puts, which is by this Friday, are too short term. But I would definitely say puts for December, you know, maybe middle or end of December, you're going to bank with those. So that's one we traded today in the Discord. Secondly, we went with Home Depot, which has been running for so long. About time it pulled back. See how high it's got. So I'm expecting the pullback to around, let's zoom in a little bit, to around 395, I'd say. Yeah, around these levels, 395, 394 from where it's currently sitting at 402. So those are the puts you probably want to look at again for mid-December to end December. I got mine for December 3rd. It might be slightly too soon, but high risk, high reward here, so I don't mind. Next stock I wanted to look at was Tesla. Again, let me move myself. I had to put the camera on so you guys can see me this time because it's been a while, to be honest. Tesla. 
Tesla's one you can look at quick scalps, I'd say day trades. You know, Tesla, you don't need a huge movement to get some money out of it, but you do have to be careful with it. So depending on what chart you use, I mean, if I use a daily chart and go with five minutes on the daily, you've got clear levels of support and resistance. So use those to your advantage. So now, looking at it, if it can break above this level, it could run up to around you know, around 20 points, I'd say. But yeah, it's sitting at just above a level of previous resistance, common resistance here, one, two, three, four, five points. So yeah, and I think it is gonna break above that. So you can definitely look at seeing it move towards 1160 or so. So, let me show you guys a couple other stocks we've traded recently, semiconductors. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you would have seen this call out anyway. So AMD on a daily chart again, ran up to highs of 164, just about half an hour into market open before selling off. But look over the past week, it has been monstrous. It's been rallying, rallying, rallying. So it was due a little bit of a pullback. It hit all time highs and it was due a bit of a pullback. I like it at these levels. I just want to see how it opens tomorrow, but I would potentially look at $165 calls for December 10th. Same with NVIDIA. I don't play NVIDIA as much, but AMD is the one I like to play. But yeah, like I said, you know, it's been rallying. It was due a little bit of a pullback. It did pull back about a week ago before rallying again. And it seems to have pulled back again to a nice level before it may rally again. So keep your eyes out on AMD. Apple also had a very interesting day. Good old Apple. Seems to be a reliable stock, this. So it's hitting at $166 right now. As you can see, we're at all-time highs. So what do I expect? Maybe a pullback to around here, 164 max 162 before rising again. With Apple, it's just like one of those stocks that you can rely on it, you can count on it. So don't be fooled by any kind of small pull pullbacks or sell-offs. That's expected with stocks. But Apple, yeah, that is one to keep your eye out. It's kind of a sneaky sleep, sleeping giant, I'd say. Not a sleeping giant, a sneaky one that goes under the radar, but still makes the gains. Look at the chart. It's just been moving, it's just been steadily uptrending. You know, a few pullbacks here and there, but just steadily uptrending. Last, I'm going to go with another one of the FANG stocks. We're going to go with Netflix. Let's go with Netflix. That had a kind of strange day. Started the day really well and then it hit, I think, around, yeah. So it started the day, hit around 674 and just tanked. Look at the daily chart. Just today. There you go. 674 then just dropped off to the 641 real quick. Don't know why that happened, but it did happen. Now if we zoom out, let's see what levels we're sitting at with Netflix. Are we sitting at nice levels? We are indeed. Right at a level of support and previous resistance. Right at a level of, here's the resistance, here's the support. We're sitting at a level of support. So Netflix, you can look at 650 calls, 670 calls, if you want to be, be ambitious for mid-December. Right here. Oh, beautiful. If it breaks below, then puts. If it breaks below 641, 77 puts. But I think it will hold around this level and start rallying up again. I think that's all the stocks I'm going to break down today. There's another stock that, well, I'll give you guys that lotto. We've been looking at it in a Discord. Sports Entertainment, ticker symbol SEAH. Looking at the $11 calls for this, but it's sold off so badly since it hit $11 today. Um, let's see how much the premiums are. So you're looking at a premium for $0.28 cents for $11 calls at 70 of December. I think that's pretty good, to be honest, if you ask me. They did hit highs of 56 cents today, so that's a double up. If it does that again, if it does finally hit $11 within the next two weeks, that's very likely, I'd say. But just keep your eyes out on it. Look for the news. It's got a bit of a weird chart, so let it find support. I think it's just above a level of support, so it can drop off a little bit more and then start rallying again. But that's mainly the stocks I wanted to break down for you guys today. I think... It's been a bit of a weird week. It's been a bit of a strange week, especially after 
the um, news about the new variant in South Africa, the Omnitron, Omnitron or something, whatever. Maybe that sounds like a transformer. But yeah, it affected airlines, affected many different industries. Speaking of airlines, as you can see, Americans started to rally after dropping heavily. It was down minus 4%, minus 4.5%, and then it ended up with a green. So that's pretty impressive, and it's green after hours. Definitely keep your eyes out on that. It's not too late to get the airline stocks as well. Same with UAL, same with BA, same with which, which other airlines? Delta as well. And um, yeah, so that is pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys drop a thumbs up. Drop the thumbs up for the algorithm. Make sure you guys comment as well, the usual stuff. Let me know your thoughts on the video. Let me know what you'd like to see. Also join the Discord, feel, feel free to join the Discord. And um, of course, check out the Stock Option Startup Pack. And lastly, don't forget Chatterquant, your new favorite tool. At least it's my new favorite tool. It helps me finding out a bit more about market sentiment, news, trending tickers, all that good stuff. It helped me find AMD and NVIDIA today. So help me confirm my trade before market open today. But yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. See you guys next time for another video. Peace. Game over.